I might. No, okay, I'll leave that. All right, we are gonna get started and I will let humans pop in and jump in and start scrubbing as they may. Um, I mentioned at 5.45 to, or uh, earlier, to uh, get as undressed as you physically can at this moment so that you can scrub every inch of yourself. I obviously am not gonna be <laughs> super undressed for this, but I stripped down as much as I feel like I could. Um, Anyway, yeah, welcome to my first body brushing class. <laughs> All right, um, brush, balm, and nudity, beverages, welcome. Uh, a gentle playlist on your end, you can go ahead and cue in. I'm gonna have mine really soft in the background. Um, and as we kind of join in in this moment together, I will invite you to just shut the eyes down, Feel the lightness and all the muscles on your face as you start to trust your shoulders back and down, your heart back and up. And feel the crown of your head start to pull up while your elbows drop down towards the earth. You are elongating, you are elevating, you are lengthening, you are lifting, breathe in, fill up. Hold the breath at the top. Don't be quick with your exhale. Hold and then relax every muscle in your body within the retention. Hold, stay holding. Breathe in a little more. Hold. Open the mouth, exhale softly. Inhale, fill up, hold at the top. Crown of the head pulls, elbows drop, hips soften, shoulders soften. Hold that breath in your body, let it do its thing. Breathe in a little more. Exhale through the mouth, sigh, let that go. Last one, fill up, hold the breath at the top. Soften the muscles on your face. Soften your chest, soften your belly. Breathe in a little more. Exhale deeply. Find a gentle wave in your spine. Find a little wave in your shoulders. Roll your head out. Allow the eyes to stay closed and the eyes are gonna roll up into the back of the head and we will get to the brushing, but first we're just gonna find what this body is right now. Before we stimulate or change anything at all. And whatever speed you just defaulted to, go ahead and give yourself permission to cut it in half while you double the lengths of your breath. You can explore your neck, your shoulders, your low back, your whole spine your throat, your chest. Full breath in, expand. And a full breath out, let that go. Inhale, come back up tall, keep the eyes closed. Slowly, wherever your hands are, slowly start to make the other hand, like. We're going to make both hands to the left knee and we're going to maintain contact with the body. Just explore it. And you've got your right hand on the inside of your left knee and the heel of the hand is kind of rubbing into it. Little tiny circles. That left arm is relaxed and the hands on the outside of the left knee. 
Notice if your heart collapses as you rub into the leg. For a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, start to pull your left knee up with both arms towards your heart. Keep the eyes closed. Bring the left knee toward the left shoulder. And then grab your left foot with your right hand. Hug that leg into your body. Swaddle it like a baby. It might be like four or five feet away from you. Just kidding, those would be some long arms. It might be a little bit away from the body. It doesn't need to be. The foot doesn't need to touch the shoulder. So breathe into your hip. Take a full breath in. Hug that leg in as close to your body as is available. And then as you exhale with a whole lot of love, go ahead and set that left foot down to the left. So it's going to be kind of diagonally out in a way that feels comfortable. Keeping your eyes as closed as possible. Start to travel that right hand to wherever you have that body brush. All right. And then travel it with creativity over to your left leg. Just observe how we move and where we move and how we get where we're going and attempting to not let things get left or lost in translation. So go ahead and place your, your body brush at the top of your left toes. You might have to hug that leg in a lot. You might feel more stretched, like you want to stretch out more. So just kind of allow whatever your moment to be and you're going to start to pet up the top of your left foot. And it'll be just the foot for just a moment. And observe what speed you started with. And then start to play with the idea of what if my breath was longer and my strokes were slower? What if I relaxed my toes a little bit more? Another formation you can have with your body, your uh, right leg, you can have that kicking out if you want to get a little opening here. So that's what was just called into me as it would feel good. So feel free to kick that right leg out in any way. And then bring your toes towards your face if you haven't already. And kind of get in between your toes, hey? And then the back side of the toes into the arches. Yeah, baby. And then go really fast and really light on the foot, just for a second. Beautiful. Slowly set that left foot down. Thanks, lefty. And then grab that brush and pull it nice and gentle all the way up the length of your leg into your rump. I hope you have very small or no panties on. Get that whole cheek. Get in there. And keep making the strokes long so it, it might be... It's easy to kind of want to get lost in the new space, so pull the brush all the way and then keep long, slow strokes. And what's kind of cool about the body brushing experience is parts of it are kind of uncomfortable. And certain areas you'll notice as we work our way up the body, I won't tell you yet which area is my most tender, but I'm sure we're all the same. No, I'm not sure we're all the same actually, <laughs> but I'm sure everybody might have that, a similar experience in this area. Anyway, oh, keep brushing those legs, long sweeping spokes, strokes. Making your way behind the thigh and up it. inside and all the way around. Awesome. Now, starting at the foot, you're going to go fast on the foot again, and then you're going to go fast up the shins, and then you're going to go fast up the thighs, and then you're going to slide your hands up the leg and bring it in and go ahead and transition or you can actually leave it out if you want to stretch it and transition into the right leg. And we'll take a moment between sides here to kind of sit tall and notice, maybe you bring the feet out, notice just the difference 
and sensations that your legs are experiencing right now. For me, the best way I could put it is my left leg feels so, so stimulated and kind of energized. And my right leg just kind of feels senseless in a way and sweaty. <laughs> Mindfulness as you make your hands down to your right foot. And here we go. Start to pet up. So our, our motion's always going to be up. And just notice the foot. Notice what it has done for you today, what it continues to do for you. And we, it's easy to not pay attention to these things that serve us day in day out every every place we physically go these dudes are carrying us <laughs> thank you feet still just on the foot and then notice okay how fast were you just going slow it down a bit And then pick the toes up and bring the toes towards the face and kind of get in between those toes of yours. Maybe all those sideways. Oh, maybe so. I'm just learning. Falling forward with you guys. <laughs> and then get the arches of the feet. Mm, and notice if you just kind of sped back up and go ahead and keep those strokes slow, hey? Catching the mind as it kind of allows you to become less present with the activity. All right, now speed it up on the foot. Get in there. Yep. All right, put that left foot down. Excuse me, right foot. And start making your way up the entire leg. Up the whole dang leg we go. From the base of the toes to the top of the cheek again I hope you ditched your underpants and then notice okay how fast was I just going cut it in half slow it down we're not in a rush notice if you start taking half strokes of the leg that's something I do I'm like trying to be mindful and then I'm like uh, uh, uh. So like, okay, can we slow that down? Whole leg, keep the whole leg involved. Fabulous. All right, let's give it a few more long strokes. area where I was like, uh, 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 it's all like red now. <laughs> Don't get too crazy with your body brushing. All right, now let's go ahead and give it some quickness up the foot and around the leg or the uh, calf and shin and then around the thigh. Yeah, baby. All right. And then go ahead and extend both legs long in front of you and kind of move around on your sit bones a little bit. Pull your navel into your heart. Sit tall. Bring the fingerprints to the earth, maybe the heels of the hands too, and press the shoulders down and the heels of the hands into the ground. And then if they aren't already, go ahead and invite those eyes closed. Drop your shoulders. Little feeties or foot flexed back towards your face. Start to take a full breath in from the base of the belly. And a full breath out. Full round and fill up. Now as you exhale, channel the Adams Family hand and start to walk your hands like they're little tiny humans <laughs> forward. Forward, 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 yeah, and then you can.
catch this little forward fold situation, pedal it out. Maybe you massage the legs a little bit, noticing the stimulation that's now occurring in both. Full breath in, sink a little deeper. And a full breath out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, roll back up to a seat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Beautiful, use the help of your hands to bring your legs back into one in front of the other or crisscross applesauce, whatever feels good to you. And if your spine wants another little sway here before we move into the next segment of brushing, take it. And then we find the brush. <laughs> and we're gonna find our bellies. And if you are, you know, if you're uh, nude here, go ahead and really include all, all your bits and pieces. Like get as intimate with this brush as you can. And we're gonna start to make counterclockwise circles on our bellies. Okay, let's tap into a little centered moment here. Bring the, bring the uh, brush to uh, one of your hip bones, whichever one makes sense with where your arm is. And bring your other hand to your heart, right on top of your chest. And then really gently, actually scoot that brush right beneath your navel. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Press into the both palms of your hands of your arm, press into your palms, into your cheek, chest, and your pelvis with a nice feathering motion upward so that you have this pull up and support in your seat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Two more. One more fill up. And as you exhale, start to slide that brush counterclockwise. There we go. And you keep that hand on your chest with a feathering motion upwards so you keep the heart lifting and you keep the body trusting its weight back. And with the eyes closed, notice if they're really trying to be closed here. So can you soften the eyelids? Can you move the eyes up towards the mid-center of your forehead? While softening the jaw and the cheekbones. And this counterclockwise circle helps aid digestion in addition to all the, the topical things it does. So yeah, that's the, the directional's purpose. And then maybe you speed up, maybe you slow down, kind of notice what is your moment. And really feel the brush where it is on your skin. Feel the skin receiving the brush. Full breath in. And a full breath out. All right, here we go. Bring the brush up to one, one of your side bodies, left or right, doesn't matter, and start to run it up and down your sides. I feel called to bring my hand down, but if you feel the hand on the heart is still supporting your moment, please stay there. And as you come up and down on the sides here, you can make your way as far into your back. It feels good, kind of up and down we go. Gorgeous, and then nice and slow, slide the brush around your back. So switch off hands. And then check out your other side body. And again, doing whatever 
feels like the call is with the other arm. You can even crawl this left arm far away from you and get a little side body stretch in here, pull the crown of the head long. Just play, you know? In what shapes can I scrub my body with a brush? <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, all right. Go a little quicker, a little lighter. Awesome. And now you're gonna slide that brush up to the dead center of your chest. Yeah, baby, please tell me you're topless. I hope you're topless. Ladies, gentlemen, y'all get topless for this. Because <laughs> it feels awesome. It feels so good. It's going to be your new favorite thing you do during me time. I swear it. All right. And also, there's like a little bit of pain. <laughs> all right. All right. I digress. Take a full breath in. Let's take a few breaths before we start moving. in, fill up, and full breath out. If your legs feel like they want something different, if you maybe um, want a hip opener or something while we proceed here, I'll invite you to make that shift now before we start moving this heart plate. So I'm going for foot on top of knee. You can bring knee to knee and come into one of these situations. You can stay exactly as you are. Operator's choice. Cool. All right, let's close those eyes, sit really tall, and now check this out. We are going to make figure eight infinity symbols around our nipples. <laughs> That's why, you're topless, get topless. And slowly start to rub that brush underneath and around and on top. And then through the middle and down and around and on top. And just continuing with this pattern, being really aware and, and present with the sensations that it creates. Take a full breath in, the next time the, the brush is at the center of your heart and pause. And as you exhale, change directions. The skin is gentle, we don't necessarily need to go over it a million times, but You'll see. <laughs> oh, you guys, I cracked myself up. Amazing. Okay, the next time it's at your heart center, press the brush, take a breath in, and a breath out. Now go ahead and change your legs if you decided to have some sort of hippie moment. All right. Inhale, fill up, get big. And as you exhale, take your brush up towards your shoulder, whichever one makes sense, and then across the chest and up towards the other shoulder, kind of making these sweeping motions around your collarbones. Maybe you explore something different. Maybe you do tiny little circles on your chest. Like, sure, there are recommendations of how to brush your body, but you, you also have this intuitive guide that can be like, hey, that might feel good. And so you try it. This is just an explore. Oh, I'm jumping to the neck. I love the neck. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, let's take our arms out away from our body for just a second. Full breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands into your lap. Inhale, fill up. Exhale your right ear to your right shoulder. All right, we're prepped. We're prepped for the left side of the neck now. 
And slowly start to slide that brush up your body and go from your left shoulder up into the hairline and then down and then you can bring the chin to the chest and then the ear to the shoulder and you'll kind of just go back and forth where you like get into these super sweet nooks and crannies. <laughs> I don't, know if I don't know if I told you guys, this is my first, first body brush in class. I'm glad to have you with me. Huh? <laughs> Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, bring that head back up and slowly take the brush down the body. Inhale, sit really tall. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, right shoulder drops down. And then change hands with the brush if you need to and slide its way up, up, up your body. Not breaking contact on the way, it's kind of like the fun of the game. Keep the brush on the body and find that hairline, ooh, and get in there and up and down the neck the throat. Don't forget the under chin. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe the jawline too. Not necessarily a recommendation for the face. Maybe like a pat and a pat and a pat, but it's a little coarse and aggressive. All right, now by now you've kind of gotten around the back of the neck, into the shoulder area. We've done the arms, we've done the side bodies, the belly. Kind of get the back as much as our ability was. And now we're going to get the arms. I was gonna jump somewhere ahead, but we haven't done the arms yet. Oh my goodness, okay. Go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. Drop the brush in front of you. Interlace the fingers. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. With your next inhale, send the heels of the hands away from you and start to just stretch the fingers. And notice if your heart kind of popped out and you're kind of falling forward when the hands went forward. So kind of pull back and sit tall. Plug the shoulders in. Full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, stretch those pinkies up towards the sky. Take the hands as high as you can. And then notice, did your heart just fall forward? Did your back sway? And plug it in, pull it up, drop the shoulders down, and then relax the hips. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, let the hands come down. Release your legs. And if you have a pillow nearby, I highly recommend just sliding a pillow under here. I have one near enough that I'll grab. Just for a little extra oomph. We're going, we're going for oomph mm factor here tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then find it comfortable. Let the feet kind of relax. Maybe give them a little jiggle and then whichever arm you want to start with go ahead and just take it out in front of the leg we'll probably go airborne but you know to start with we're gonna go for some long sweeping strokes up the top of the hand to the shoulder we go up because for the limbs just to pull anything up to kind of get recycled back through the body. So it's best for circulation to go up, 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 and maybe you take that arm airborne. Yeah, you definitely take the arm airborne and then you're gonna flip the hand and start to slide that brush up the inside of the arm. You know, it's like the tummy area, the inner thighs, those areas where the skin's really thin, isn't seen by the sun much, sun much is 
typically where it's the most sensational. And get it into the palm really good. And then notice, do I have resting B face right now? Can you give yourself a nicer face? I think I just had it <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh. All right, okay, now go ahead and move really fast up the whole length of the arm, gentle but fast. Gorgeous, slowly start to set that arm down, set the brush down, place both hands on your legs and just kind of again, like we did with the legs, observe here. Observe one versus the other. Observe temperature, observe sensation of any kind. Full breath in and a full breath out. All right, y'all, we got one chicken limb left or celery limb if you're vegan. I don't know. <laughs> And make that brush his way to the top of the hand and then up the arm. And long strokes and noticing, okay, can I slow these strokes down? Can I be more present in my touch with myself? Did I just start going only on the top of my arm or am I keeping the strokes long? y'all. If you haven't lifted the hand, go ahead and lift the hand to get the inside of the arm all the way with the palm included. And then let's start to speed it up a little bit around every little inch of the hand. Quick, quick strokes, and then put it all down. Scoot your body so you can come into a momentary savasana. We're just gonna take a lay for a minute and notice your flesh body, notice your carcass, notice all bits of you and what they are experiencing right now. Whether it's something of a bliss state or whether it's something of a frustration state, neither is wrong, neither is right. Just allowing yourself to embody what it is and just tip your hat to it. start to fill up, 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 up. Hold your breath at the top. And within that hold, you're going to relax your ribs, your belly, your hips, your thighs are going to soften. You're going to surrender into the retention. Stay. Breathe in a little bit more. Stay. And let go. And inhale is going to stretch your arms overhead, reach your hands away from your feet. And then 
exhale is going to bring you into a full body sit up. Ready, go. All right, we are scrubbed. That means it's time for lotion. It's time for lotion. And or, if you prefer, uh, at this point to take a nice hot shower and then lotion your body after, you can. Um, if so if you want to dip out to shower and then lotion, do it. But I will say, um, as I move into this lotion part, it is nice to actually not just apply lotion to your body, like slapping it on, but to apply it with intention, to massage it into the skin. Pretend you are a massage therapist for yourself this evening because you totally can be. So that's my recommendation if you feel like uh, going elsewhere at this point in the journey. If you're still here with me and we're still doing it together, go ahead and grab your lotion. <laughs> Get it between two hands. Oh, I have a CBD, oh, the sun is moving. I have a CBD THC uh, locally made by my friend on her property, Body Butter, called from Gaia's Garden. And um, yeah, if you want that later in life, let me know, it's fabulous. Okay, but first and foremost here, we're gonna slather our bodies up, slather and lather in them. So we're just gonna get a nice, even coat to work with and take your time as you do. Beautiful. Now invite your legs into butterfly and you're going to start to use your thumbs into your feet. And you're going to run the thumbs up the arches back and forth and, and notice if, if as you're here, if you kind of collapse into the moment, if you're like, ah. so see if you can invite some length in the back, some support from the center of your being. And the thumbs are going to work their way into the pads of your toes. So open the feet like books and start to work your thumbs into pads. Oh, also sidebar, if your hips are not super open and you're like, this is a hard shape to be in, then I will recommend you just shove a couple blankets or um, blocks or pillows and get your legs as close together so that your hips can be challenged a little bit, but not like unbearable. So, start to love on each individual toe. Yeah. And then notice if you're just like grabbing at your toes or if you're like, what's up, big guy? What's up, next guy? Maybe you give them a little crack, give them a little tug, greet each toe. They do so much for you. And then slide your fingers up the space between the toes and then up onto the tops of the feet. Up we go. And then you're gonna start to rub your thumbs with very firm circles up the insides of your calves. And just notice if as you're rubbing these thumbs up and down your calves, as you're kind of working into your shins a little bit, notice if your hips get tight, notice if your shoulders start to crunch up around your neck, so settle into it. Yeah, baby, and then make your way up to your knees and make some circles on the insides of your knees with your thumbs. And we'll start to grab our fleshy bits as, our, as we work our way up our legs, up our thighs, as our quads, heels of the hands, and the groin area. Kind of squeezing the muscles is really nice. If you don't kind of, if you don't grip onto your muscles often, I highly recommend you just grab that fleshy body, you know? 
get acquainted. So many of us aren't acquainted. Oh man, I know I lack acquaintance a little bit every day, you know? It's this never ending practice. Even when I'm live on Instagram, I rush my brushing. What do you guys think it looks like when I'm alone? <laughs> Truth bombs, left and right. Go ahead and draw your legs back together. I think they're about uh, lathered and loved at this point. Don't forget in, to get into your butt meat. Yeah, squeeze the hips, massage your rump, get some lotion on there. And then invite yourself into a cross-legged Get more of your goop. And then you're going to start to, dare I say, wash your hands with your lotion. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Oh, too soon COVID joke. All right. Get this oil, massage lotion, whatever you're working, up your arms. Strong strokes, really squeeze your body as you go. And then just envision it as this dance, this dance of, okay, you rub there, you pull there. There's a little tango between limbs. And then down to our hands we go, bring your hands kind of out in front of you so the arm is at a 90 and start to make circles in your hand with your thumb. In the palm of one hand with the thumb. I guess maybe I can pull you guys closer. Ah, you can do it. <laughs> we got this. Uh, and then start to squeeze your, the base of your pinky all the way out to the pinky. It's interesting, it'll pull all the blood into the tip of the finger and Sometimes I get kind of freaked out by that, but it's good. It's good to do. So slide your finger up your finger. <laughs> and then pull every finger back. Give, give all our fingers the equal amount of love we give our toes. Notice if you start crunching your arm up by your face, give yourself some room. Slide into the other hand, make, hand, making circles with the other thumb on its palm. Firm circles. Shit releasing circles. You know, we do a lot with our hands. Just as much with our feet. Gotta pay attention to the body parts that do things for us. So, <laughs> look out, my new jingle coming soon. <laughs> Oh, what's great is I don't have glasses and well I have glasses but they're not on my face I have no idea who's in here right now maybe there are like I see people hopping in and out but I genuinely don't know who's actually been hanging in for the brushing class so it's an interesting time you guys just virtual things in life and holding these containers and spaces and teaching things we've never damn done before anyway personal share that's what this is these days uh, Start to love the fingers if you haven't already. And start squeezing up the sides of them, feeling the blood get pulled to the fingerprint. Up we go, up we go. And then make knuckles with one hand and go into the heel of the hand and then knuckles with the other hand and just feel that. And then you might not need extra uh, stuff at this point if you have a lot on your hands. You can take your hands to your belly and start cooling your belly as you massage. You can make counterclockwise circles again if you want to kind of keep um, aiding your digestion. Um, or you can kind of find these stroking across, hugging pulls are really really nice you can take a full breath in and as you exhale pull the arm across the body oh it's great actually I highly recommend it inhale fill up 
and exhale, pull the arm across the body as you turn the torso. It's like the twist of the torso is what's dragging the hand. Oh, it's so fun. We just discovered a new thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back and forth you go. And then let's try it the other way. Hands behind the back and hand kind of to the other side and twisting the arm across the back body. Gorgeous. Lathering up if you need to. And then bringing the hands to the neck and kind of down the chest. So we did our bellies. If you're topless, you might have already done your chest, chest, but kind of get across the chest here. And as you go across the chest, similar to the bottom of your torso, use your fingers to really dig in. Exhales pull you. And then maybe work up into the shoulder heads. And you can use one hand to press the other hand as far onto your back as you can get it and breathe it up, oil it up. Kind of working into that. The traps, the shoulders. And let's all together kind of find our way back to the base of our skull with our neck, our hairline, and the tips of the fingers on the hairline. Take a full breath in. Elbows lift up. And as you exhale, drop the elbows. Pull the hands down the neck. Yeah, baby. Inhale, elbows to sky. Hands slide back up to your hairline. Throat to sky, get big. Exhale, down you go, elbows down, chin down, hands down. <sighs> yeah, two more of those. <sighs> Beautiful, slide the hands down the body, down onto your knees. Take a full breath in, sit tall. And a full breath out. Now if they're open, go ahead and shut the eyes down. We're just gonna be in this moment for a few breaths. Let your body be still. Let your brain observe your sensations. Just feel into the sensations. Or rather, let your brain rest, feel into your sensations. Let there be a softness around the eyes, around the cheekbones. Full breath in, fill up, and a full breath out. If you have a facial moisturizer that you really love at home, I should have told you to grab that at the beginning of class. We're always learning. Go grab it. <laughs> if you really like what you're currently using and you don't mind using it on your face, Go ahead and grab a little bit of that. We don't need a lot. And you're gonna pair your peace fingers together. And you're gonna slide them to the space right in the middle of your forehead. You're not really applying any pressure just yet. We're just kind of finding our seat here in our bodies. Shoulders dropping down, eyes can shut down. 
hips can relax, take a full breath in, start to press a little bit onto the center of your forehead with those four fingers, rock side to side, and then rock away and together from each other. You start to make your way across the forehead and back, and across the forehead and back. And then you're gonna pull up. You're gonna start feathering the fingers up and across the forehead. You're gonna pull your eyebrow up. You're gonna pull the center of your forehead up. You're gonna make your way all the way across both eyebrows, yanking them up. Keeping the eyes rolling up into the back of the head. Keep your shoulders soft. Back and forth. Next time you're at center, stay, pause, breathe in, press your fingers firmly. And as you exhale, slide the fingers down to your cheekbones. And you'll start to make some circles on your cheekbones and don't overthink the direction you're going. Go where it feels intuitive. Just let this be an intuitive moment for you. Maybe you press light, maybe you press really, really firm. You choose. Kind of explore around until you find the epicenter of your cheekbone. You'll know when you feel it. And when you get there, stay still. You can drop down to just your index finger if you'd like. Now take a full breath in. And as you do, apply a lot of pressure on your epicenter. And as you exhale, slowly release it. And slide your fingers down into your jaw. And make some circles in your jaw, back and forth and back and forth and into the jaw. And again, we're going to seek out the epicenter. And the jaw is a pretty burly thing, and there could be many places that are your epicenter. So don't overthink it, but locate where it is in this moment today and stay still. Drop a finger, come down just to the index, take a full breath in, apply pressure. And a full breath out, release the hands down the neck. And then come up and grab the chin with the fingers a few times. And the hands will come down the chin, down the front of the neck to the heart. Both hands on top of the heart. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. And I don't know how long it's been, but it feels complete. I promised 40 minutes, but I genuinely don't know. We're going to bring our hands to heart center, press the palms together, sit really tall. It feels complete, no? Yeah. We're going to take three really full, really just savory breaths here as we close our practice today. Together we bow. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, what a treat. Uh, this was, if you're still in here, I'm sure by now you know, very experimental. Um, so, you know, thanks for being along with me for the ride. Um, I 